hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is tori thank you guys for tuning in today by the title of this video you know this is going to be a review of this bag so i've had this bag the louis vuitton bavin chain wallet for about two years now and i just can't wait to get into it and let you guys know what i think about it so without further ado This is the baby right here. Take a look at her and all of her glory. This is actually one of the first purchases of Louis Vuitton that I ever made. Um, and I didn't go into the store intending to buy this bag. I was intending to go and get a backpack, uh, which you guys may have saw in one of my previous videos in the background. I went in with the intentions of getting that and maybe just like a little like small card wallet, but the lady brought this out to me because she thought I might like it and boy was she spot on. This is honestly, this is one of my favorite bags that I've ever bought any brand. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so first off the bat, you're gonna notice this chain here. It's called the Vavin Chain Wallet for a reason. So this is really nice chain here um, and you can actually take it on and off. So you can remove it if you want to. So I usually wear this crossbody though, and I'll get up and show some looks with this, of course, um, at the end of the video. So let's start with the outside of the bag first. So this is seven and a half by 4.9 by 1.6 inches. And I know that's kind of small. This is actually classified, like it's called a wallet, right? Um, but me personally, I don't bring a lot of stuff with me in my purse. Um, I usually have pretty small purses in general, so this is really, really perfect for me. So I got this one in, obviously, Damia Bean in black. I think they also have like a cream color and a pink color as well, but this, I wear a lot of black, obviously, as you can tell right here. So this one really fit well into my wardrobe and I thought it just looked so, so, so cute. So yeah, just going around the back. So you have the Damia Bean print here and here. So you have the, the Louis Vuitton, this is all one piece of canvas here on this side, so it flips around um, and you have the, the logo down here as well. Um, and then, so you have the black here on the front of the bag, this little piece right here that's also black as well as these back accents here and here. And then you have the black on the sides as well as the bottom. I think it's just really subtle too. I think the black and the brown kind of play really well together. And you know when you're wearing black, you're wearing brown, you're like, oh, which kind of bag do I want? You don't even have to choose, okay? You really don't even have to choose with this, which is really, really awesome. So, love this. So on here, you can kind of see, you can go ahead and get to the details. You got the Louis Vuitton logo right here, and then you have the gold here. So this bag was actually made in Paris. Hardware here, you can barely read about it. It says Louis Vuitton on both of these. So this is the clasp that you open it with. So you pull it up like this and you just pop it open. Like I can pull this. So it takes a decent amount of effort to open and close it, which I think is really, really great. All right, so just getting into the insides of the bag. Here is a magnetic clasp here and here. So it's like a suede kind of right here on the inside. So right here when you open up the bag, first thing you see are the six card slots so um this is a wallet right so you can you don't even have to bring a different wallet you just kind of slide your ids and your credit cards right there um so that's super convenient and then right behind there actually is a little pocket so you can put um a few things in and then um this part here so this is my my hand <laughs> So this gives you an idea of like how much space it's it's quite a lot and it's pretty deep honestly so um so this is my phone right and i actually have a pop socket on the back of it as well so i can fit that in there super easy i can fit a couple of phones in here um if you have two phones <laughs> since i don't have to put a separate wallet inside of this bag so that's actually really really nice and the next thing you see here is the zipper so you can put like cash or some coins or whatever anything else loose that you just don't want falling out of the bag and it has like a little zipper on there as well so that's really really nice i think so yeah that has a little louis vuitton symbol on it as well what was that accent i don't know and then finally there is this other opening pocket right here i think 
that's really really nice now unlike my mama bb this one doesn't have the red accents on the inside but i'm completely fine with that <laughs> i think honestly that would have been a little bit too much anyway the black with the gold with the brown and the red i think that would have been a lot so i'm very this is very subtle i think i dress this up quite a lot like i'm going out to dinner um or if i'm just wearing something that's a little more on the dressy side i wear this this is the piece that piece of is just this is the piece that I add to it to dress it up. So like this right now, what I'm wearing is very simple, very basic. But if you add this to it, it just gives it that extra little zhuzh. Put on some heels. Girl, what? Or sometimes like if you're already dressed up, you just add this to it. This is one of the most appropriate bags I have to wear for dressing up as well. Okay, so let's get into a little bit more of this wear and tear um, on the bag. So if you look kind of closely, I'll kind of like aim the camera up and down you can kind of see the scratches that's on there it's like little scratching here on these little louis vuitton symbols you can kind of see there's some wear and tear here on this gold hardware this little d-ring um but it's really not too bad honestly i don't have too many complaints and then and then it's the same thing on this side as well you can see kind of a little bit of some wear and tear here on the d-ring where the chain kind of hooks on to it so obviously it's doing a lot of motions like that back and forth um but overall it's really really good on the the class themselves and throughout the chain i don't see any like tarnishing or anything like that so um, and that's the part that people see anyway, right? So I'm not really upset at that whatsoever. Granted, I don't wear this bag when it's raining um, just because of the hardware. Um, and I wanna make sure I can kind of preserve it for as long as possible. I don't have any issues with the class. They still function very well. It's hard to do with my nails on. So yeah, they're still, still very easy, still very good. Um, but the fact that I even have to kind of, you know, wiggle it around in the light, let you know that it's really not that bag now if someone was like in my purse like this they would see it but just um from a distance from a normal socially distance space um you really can't tell um so i'm very very pleased with this purchase and how well this bag is holding up like i said this is probably one of my most worn bags um so the fact that it still pretty much looks like new aside from the scratches here um, is it's super awesome and um, this part here I, I really don't mess with too much I don't want it to bend so it's it's holding its place very very well so like I said this was one of my first Louis Vuitton purchases and before I was you know hip to keeping the dust bag in the boxes I, I threw it away I threw it away guys I threw away the box and the dust bag so, you know, I just do my best to try and keep it as pristine as possible. I try not to touch it too much when I'm not wearing it. I keep it tucked away. It's it's holding, it's holding up really, really well. Even its shape, like, it doesn't look distorted at all. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. Let's show the bottom here. So that is the bottom. This is pretty much what it looked like out the box when I got it. And I, I don't see any scratches really here. Like, maybe like this crease that I've put into it, but overall like you don't see too much too much damage to this bag it's very durable too so um so that's great because some, sometimes I've, i throw it around <laughs> i throw it around a little bit but yeah overall it looks really really good i don't really see too much of anything else and even the lettering um is still holding up very very well i wouldn't expect it not to though so so yeah, overall, I am very pleased with this bag. Two years in, and it's holding up extremely well. You know what? Some of the most unintentional things end up being the best, so that includes this bag. If you guys have this bag as well, let me know down in the comments what your experience has been like, if yours has held up well too. And if you like this video, let me know down in the comment section and give me a like. And hopefully, if you really enjoyed it, you'll consider subscribing to my channel. The next thing I'll be showing you is a few lips with this bag, and that'll be it for this video so thanks for tuning in i really appreciate it okay guys so this is the outfit i just had on very casual just added some heels with it and i'm wearing the purse here at its normal length but i actually do have a hack for this so this is the first one um, where i um, so i just kind of folded it over twice and kind of clipped it under and now you can see here it's falling more um, at my waist 
And then this is the second hack that I have. So I'm kind of just looping the chain in my hand and then putting that part underneath um, inside of the purse underneath the clasp. And then you kind of have this double chain look, which I think is really, really cute. So as you can see here, now it falls like right underneath my arm. So I think that looks really cute. Now I'm just showing you just some different, different ways to hold it. And then this is my next look with Naya just taking the spotlight. Um, so this is kind of a dressier look. Um, so have the dress on with some clear heels and then holding the purse in the same um, orientation and then having it down again at its regular length here. Okay guys, this is the third and final outfit and I wanted to show you guys what the bag looked like crossbody, which I realized I hadn't done that yet. Um, so yeah, this is a dressy look without getting too dressy, you know, without wearing a dress. I'm wearing a white top with some leather leggings. Um, so I'm just showing the bag again here at the different lengths. And I really love this outfit, honestly. I think I saved the best for last. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and hope to see you guys back again next time. Okay, thanks, bye!